Hello everyone and let us start our discussion with another important point from Laplace transform that is solution of differential equations using Laplace transform. Now friends always remember one thing if we are have a continuous time signal or system they can be differentiable and when we are having a discrete time signal as x of n always we can go for finding difference because they are non-differentiable hence in this case we will try to find solution of differential equation so it may be continuous time Fourier transform Laplace transform in these cases we will always go for differential equation now how will you find differential equation we will see with one example let us consider that uh, we want to find solution of this term as d2y by dt square plus 3 into dy by dt plus 2 times y of t is equal to x of t now we have to determine its response that is nothing but impulse response now to find impulse response we have to use an important property that is called as differentiation in time domain property so i'm writing differentiation in time domain property of laplace transform it simply states that if we have a signal as x of t whose laplace is xs then if i differentiate x of t in time domain that is d by dt x of t then its laplace transform becomes s into x of s so this is known as differentiation in time domain property now let us use this property to find solution of this differential equation so we'll reuse all those terms now here you can see this is d2 by dt square so we can write d2 by dt square of y of t becomes here the degree is 1 or order is 1 so we are getting yes here it is 2 we will get s square y of t is laplace is y of s similarly dy by dt is laplace we can write as s into y of s and y of t is laplace we know that y of s now we'll write this term so the first one is s square into y of s plus this is 3 s y of s plus 2 into y of s is equal to x of t is laplace is x of s now we'll collect y of s from or we'll take common s square plus 3 s plus 2 is equal to x of s now we'll divide y with x y of s by x of s becomes 1 upon s square plus 3 s plus 2 now this is output divided by input it simply implies transfer function as h of s so we got h of s is equals to 1 by s square plus 3 s plus 2 now to obtain its inverse we'll try to factorize this term by quadratic equation so we can write this is 1 by let this is s plus 1 into s plus 2 factors are going to be the same now we'll apply partial fraction expansion we'll get hs as 1 by s plus 1 s plus 2 is equal to a by s plus 1 plus b divided by s plus 2 we have seen this in the previous lecture how to find it by partial fraction expansion i'm writing it directly uh, the values are going to be a as 1 and b is going to be minus 1 so that now we'll get hs as 1 by s plus 1 minus 1 by s plus 2 now in differential equation they never gives us any region of convergence so by default we have to assume this is going to be a right sided signal and hence its inverse becomes h of t impulse response is equal to 1 by s plus 1 e raised to this is minus t u of t minus e raised to minus 2t into u of t so by this you can find the solution of the differential equations now we'll see one more example that is how to determine differential equation so this question is they are given the statement is 
let input of an LTI system is xt e raised to minus 3 t u of t and the corresponding output is e raised to minus t minus e raised to minus t u of 2 t into u of t and they asked to determine a response of the system with differential equation now what is meant by response definitely the response is going to be h of s and we have to obtain the differential equation also now we will accomplish this so to accomplish this we know that h of s is a ratio of y of s by x of s that means we will try to find laplace of these two functions we will write laplace of e raised to minus 3 t into u of t is 1 by s plus 3 whereas laplace of this function e raised to minus t e raised to minus 2 t into u of t as it is right sided for both the terms we will write 1 by s plus 1 pole point is 1 and here pole point is 2 minus 1 by s plus 2 now if you carefully observe this term we have seen this here also 1 by s plus 1 minus 1 by s plus 2 we can write this in terms of 1 by s plus 1 into 1 by s plus 2 also by applying partial fraction we are getting this and inverse of this we can write in a way like this so I can write this term as 1 by s plus 1 into s plus 2 that is nothing but if you multiply these terms we will get s square plus 3s plus 2 by solving this term now we will come across dividing them so we will get h of s is equal to y of s we are having this term as 1 by s square plus 3s plus 2 and it is divided by x of s that is nothing but 1 by s plus 3 so this s plus 3 will go to the numerator and we are left with s square plus 3s plus 2 so finally we will write h of s is s plus 3 divided by s square plus 3s plus 2 this is the response of the system now we will try to obtain this in terms of differential equation so I am replacing this by y of s by x of s so we will write y by x s plus 3 s square plus 3 s plus 2 now we will cross multiply this term so we will get a differential equation in the form of y and x so we can write this is s square y s plus 3 s y s plus 2 into y of s is equal to multiplication of this this is s into x s plus 3 times x of s and now we will find its differential form you can see if d2y by dt square into y of t is laplace we are written as s square into y of s similarly dy by dt is s into y of s so from that if it is s square we will have a double differentiation d2 by dt square of y of t plus 3 as it is s into y of s d by dt y of t inverse plus 2 as it is y of s inverse will be y of t is equal to s into x of s inverse will be d by dt x t plus 3 into x of t so by this you can obtain differential equations also i hope you got those concepts so if you are getting all these terms try to comment on it and try to subscribe also thank you